Well, despite today's excessive heat warning, there are many people who still have to work in these conditions. Yeah, for example, the crews are still cleaning up the Ruskin Heights neighborhood tonight after a storm uprooted hundreds of trees there. Christina Medina talked to some of the employees battling the heat out there today. Christina? Good evening, Mark and Elizabeth. As you can see, they've been very busy here in this neighborhood, just trimming trees and also picking up some of those branches in the area. But there's still a lot of work left to be done, and the crews tell me this heat is slowing them down. Heat index of what, 110? For city employees like Ronnie Howell. Very hot. Very, very hot. The mercury is certainly the main topic of conversation. Keep a towel, pour it on some water, pour some water on the towel, keep it around my neck, keep my body temperature down. That helps. City crews are still picking up tons of debris in the Ruskin Heights neighborhood. The mess is what a microburst storm left behind over a week ago. We drink plenty of water and try to stay cool, but it really doesn't help on top of the trucks. But of course, they're not the only ones fighting the heat wave. We found this construction company in South Kansas City. The temperature takes a big toll on them. We got a couple guys now that's out sick because of the heat. For Henderson, he's been in the construction business for almost a decade now and says it's just part of the job. We got to work, so there ain't nothing else we could do but work. While some crews are forced to work in the middle of an excessive heat warning. We're out here losing weight right now, but uh, it's for a good cause. At least they can see the bright side. Well, I was out here today, and I can tell you that they were certainly getting plenty of water and taking frequent breaks. City officials do tell us that if this heat wave continues, they're going to take a look at the schedules and see if they can shift things around just so that no one's out here in this heat for too long. For now, we're live tonight in South Kansas City. Christina Medina, NBC Action News.